Hi everyone, welcome to Celebration Sunday. I am Ruth with Ruth's Stamping Corner and I am so excited to come to you again for another Celebration Sunday. You guys, we are running out of Sundays though. This um, celebration is wrapping up pretty quickly. I think we only have, where are we on the 12th? There's only two Sundays left of this month. So I only, I'm only gonna come to you two more times for Celebration Sunday after today, but don't miss out on getting your celebration products and we'll talk about that in just a minute today we are going to focus on the textures and frames stamp set love this one um it's just one of those ones that it's just good to have it makes great backgrounds it's just great for those accent pieces that you always need um so this is the card that we're going to make today we're making a card today instead of a box or a bag isn't that beautiful it's just stunning. There's so much detail on it. We're going to go into this and all the steps to it. So while we're waiting for people to arrive before we get started, let's just go over everything that's going on. Paper Pumpkin is time to subscribe for the October Paper Pumpkin Kit already. So this was September's Paper Pumpkin. So if you um, subscribe for September's Paper Pumpkin, they should start shipping this week. So I'm very excited. Hopefully they'll, they'll ship very quickly. We'll get them very soon. Um, December's Paper Pumpkin, I believe, is this one. And it's going to be... I. I haven't had time to go through all the details of Paper Pumpkin real quick. They always release it on the 11th, and yesterday was just a crazy day. Um, but I believe it's going to be 10 cards. I think it's five of each of two designs. So, um, But they're going to be Christmas cards, so if, if you're ready to for those Christmas crafting kits, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Um, make sure you subscribe by October 10th if you want the October Paper Pumpkin. All right, guys, I am doing a class for world card making day celebrating world card making day all the details are in the video descriptions this is going to be like a class to go the last day to rsvp for this class is on wednesday because i need to make sure i get stuff and ship them all out in time um but i will be doing a facebook live here in my vip group on world card making day um we're go i'm going to make these four cards with you guys now if you want the make and take kit to make them along with me during the Facebook Live, then sign up for that class. It's $30, you get um, half a package of this Peaceful Prince DSP, that's the Celebration DSP. Um, you're gonna get a full package of rhinestones and then all of your supplies for four cards. And then you can craft along with me during the Facebook Live. Now you don't have to have the kit to tune in for the Facebook Live. Obviously you can watch the Facebook Live, you can maybe pick some of your favorite cards, what, make them later, do whatever you want. Um, so I hope you join me for the Facebook Live. I will also have a huge giveaway on my Facebook Live, um, that will be October 2nd at 10 a.m., I believe. I'm gonna double check my times on that, but um, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, Saturday, October 2nd for World Card Making Day. We're gonna make four cards. It's gonna be a little bit longer of a video. But there's gonna be big giveaways, so don't miss it. All right, celebration. Like I said, we are nearing the end of celebration, which means once September 30th hits, after the 30th, you're not gonna be able to get any of these products in here. now. We've already gone over a lot of it. We've done the the bedazzling paper. We're actually going to use that paper again today. We've done the penguins. Um, I don't think we've done feels like home. I guess I'll have to remember. I'll have to go back. I don't think we've done the beautifully penned. So if you guys have um, a preference of either one of these two, make sure to leave them in the comments, and we can do one of these next week. Um, we've done the peaceful prints. Um, the sheep we've done, I believe. I'm starting to have doubts about stuff. And then the Summer Shadow Dies. I haven't touched on these too much. We were told this was one of the items that was gonna, that could possibly sell out. Um, so I, I kind of left that one alone because I was worried it was going to sell out. But it's still available, so maybe we'll do something with the Summer Shadow Dies. We'll see what their availability is. All right, but if, you, if you've gotten all you want from the Celebration Catalog, but you still want to take advantage of Celebration, how about joining my team? You can sign up to be a demonstrator. We get... 125 in product for only $99. You pay $99. You choose 125 in product and you also choose any one of these bundles for free. So uh, my favorite bundle, you guys know, the Christmas season bundle. I've been telling you guys about this one all the time. It's those those dies, those label dies. Incredible. Okay, let's just get to the card making, shall we? Here is the card we're making today again. This is... Um, featuring the textures and frames stamps that so we're going to use this one to make this gorgeous background. Um, and then I'm also bringing in this stamp set. This is Banner Year. This is going to be our greeting and our little leaves and stuff. This one was in the holiday catalog last year, and this was one of my absolute favorite ones. I'm so glad this one carried over. So um, I pulled that out. You'll see that a lot in the next 
month or so. All right, first thing we're going to do, we have to make our background. So we're going to start with a piece of um, basic white cardstock, and I'm going to pull out some, some scratch paper to do all of my ink blending on. Now, let me show you. So we sell our blending brushes. You get three per package. Now, I have a bunch of blending brushes, and I've dedicated one for like every kind of color like this is all from oranges this one's all for reds this one's all for greens this one's all for blues I don't have one dedicated to every single color I, I honestly don't think that's really necessary you can just rub them on your scratch paper and use them again in, in you know the different shades of those colors and I think it's fine it's worked well for me I haven't had any problem I don't generally clean my brushes so this is pretty much how they stay I have a, a little um, holder where they all stay and they don't touch each other so that's good um, but I, I don't clean them because the more the inkier they are the more like saturated they are the better they're gonna blend so I've gotten to the habit of not really cleaning them and I, I think it's worked fine it's okay now if you do want one for dedicated to every single color that's fine um, you will have to order quite a few packages but that's okay you can have one for every color um, if you don't really want to invest them all a lot of them you can clean them after every use I, I was doing that for a while before I before I got a bunch of them and you just run them under some water um, kind of rub them a little bit they're brushes so you just kind of clean them up a little bit and then um, just let them dry and you'll be fine you make sure they're dry before you go into the into your ink again though you just want to make sure you're not using a wet brush um, other things that I've done is I've used baby wipes and just kind of run them on baby wipes too. If they're really, really inky and maybe you're going to a lighter color, you might want to just rub them on a baby wipe just to get all that excess ink off. Okay, now I, I open this without even telling you guys what we're doing. We're using three colors for our ombre background. We're going to use Petal Pink, Pale Papaya, and Pumpkin Pie. So um, Petal Pink is, I don't really consider it a pink pink. It's more of like a peachy kind of orangey pink so that's what we're going to do now I am still going to use my pink brush on it because my my orange brush I think would contaminate it too much so we are going to use my pink brush but I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to rub it on my grid paper just to make sure that there's no you know harsh pink inks on this and I did kind of use V wipe and wipe off any harsh inks and we are going to start I'm going to use my I'm going to hold my ink over here and we are just going to start on one end we're ba basically breaking up the the cardstock into thirds so this is our lightest color, so this will be our top. And I'm just going to go in a circular motion. There's kind of a little pink tinge on this. I should maybe use my other brush. Let's move over. Let's see. I'm getting a pink tinge. I didn't, I used that brush last time, and I didn't get a pink tinge. So but we're just going to use our, we'll use our orange brush for all of this, because I don't want any kind of pinks in here. So, and I'm not going all the way. I'm going maybe, maybe a third of the way down. But you just want to make sure you get nice, even coverage. The blending brushes are are so much fun. I have really loved them. They have been, I've used them a lot. They're some of my favorite, favorite tools. They're um they a really good size. They feel good in your hand. So it's just a really, really great tool to have. Okay. So we're going to come, we're going to be going back and forth between all the colors. So I just want to make sure that I have good coverage on my petal pink here okay now we're going to move on to pale papaya and we're going to do kind of the middle section with pale papaya so I'm going to kind of tap off before I go on just kind of fill in that middle section here and I'm leaving all my pads open because I told you we we're going to be going kind of back and forth between all of these so kind of circular motions hope you guys are having a good weekend now ink blending it does take its time this is not going to be um a card that you're going to want to make a hundred of them this is not going to be a card that you're going to be able to kind of really mass produce quickly ink blending um really takes its time so you just you know turn on a movie that you love and you can make a bunch of cards that way but um this is not going to be one that you're going to be able to to crank out 50 of them in an hour <laughs> All right, I'm going back to my petal pink, and I'm going to just kind of blend those colors together. I don't want like a harsh line. I'm going to blend them together. All right, I'm going to flip it over. Leave these open still. Move these out of the way. Let's push them all down. And we're going to come in with our pumpkin pie now. This is going to be our darkest one, our most saturated one, and we're going to do the bottom of this one. 
Now I want this to be pretty dark. So we're really going to go in with our, our pumpkin pie ink here. We're really going to really heavily saturate this paper down here. And the more um, the paper gets saturated, the easier the colors will blend. So it's just, it's so much fun. It's almost relaxing. It's kind of like going into like a little Zen state. Just keep ink blending. You can already see that gorgeous ombre look on there. I want a little bit darker pumpkin pie though. So we're going to go in just a little bit more. Really want some really dark coverage down here. All right, just a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to go back to pale papaya. We want to blend those colors together. So any really harsh pumpkin pie colors, I just want to kind of wipe off on my scratch paper. Go in with my pale papaya and blend those colors together. And beautiful. And then one more time into petal pink, just a little bit, just to really, um, I think I have a fingerprint right there. That's okay though. Well, maybe we'll cover that up. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope you can see like that gorgeous blended color. I love that. Okay. We're not going to put our inks away. We're actually going to leave them out for a second. Okay. We're actually, we're going to stamp our background right on top of this now. So I'm using the two circles in that textures and frame stamp set. This is the outline circle. This is the solid circle. So we're going to go in. We're going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to do the solid circle right onto that pumpkin pie um, layer. So we're really just going right over those places where we've ink blended with those same colors. A little bit. And then without re-inking, I'm going to go again up here. So gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, let's get our, our cleaner out. We want to clean these before we go into a different ink. And we're going to do the same thing with our pale papaya ink. And you could have worked your way down with the lighter inks. And that, and then you wouldn't have to clean them between each one. But, you know, I like to do things the hard way. So I'm going to put the solid one over here. And a couple of these. Because we're doing this on top of each other, it's sometimes the inks are a little, it's harder to, to see the, that distinction, but it's there. It's so pretty. And you could do this in any color. Think of all the colors you could do this in. You do this in greens and blues and pinks and purples. So many different colors. Okay, to our last color of ink, just want to make sure these are dry. I'm going to go in with pale papaya, or not, this is petal pink. Right up at the top, let me do a solid one kind of overlapping they're all overlapping they're all um all on top of each other and you'll see that i'm really like focused in the on the right side i'm gonna go back in with my pale papaya or yeah pale papaya good grief i'm gonna put another one right here beautiful great 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 perfect 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 okay now Let's close up all our inks. We're done with these inks anyway. So let's close these up before we have a disaster. We're gonna do a couple more things to this paper before we let it dry. So let's put those aside. I'm gonna bring in my my white ink. This, um, this will come uninked. You'll get a little refill bottle with it and you'll have to ink it. And you can buy additional refill bottles too. This is our, our like white crafting. It's real sticky, but it's it's so much fun. It adds a lot of texture. So I'm going to use that splatter and you're going to see that it's pretty white and strong when you first stamp it, but it'll actually um, dry much softer and it won't be so harsh. And so I'm just going to kind of go in and stamp this just kind of all along the background here. And that's going to like kind of settle in and dry and it, it'll just, it'll be just that fun little texture in the background. All right, now before we, we move on from our paper, I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to flick some color onto it just like this. Okay, just a few little flicks. And I know the camera's not going to really pick that up, but in, in real life, you can see like little splatters. It's so pretty. All right, we're going to set this aside to dry completely. It's going to take a few minutes, especially with that white ink. It's going to take a few minutes. Now, if you want to speed it up, you can use your heat tool, speed up all the, the drying process. All right, let's bring this back in. We do have a few more things to stamp, so bring in my my paper again. Let me bring in my, my scrap paper because we're going to be stamping off on this one. 
Okay, let me move my stamps out of the way. I'm running out of room on my desk. All right, so we're going to use um, pale papaya and pumpkin pie. So let's start with our pale papaya. We're going to stamp our leaf um, from that banner year stamp set. We're going to stamp it just all over the background. Man, my hands are inky. I'm getting ink all over. Now I'm going to also stamp it a couple more times without stamping off. We're just going to get some different shades. Just kind of turn your stamp here and there. I'm going to cover up that fingerprint with a little leaf image. That's okay. Our, our greeting will cover that. I kind of splotched that up a little bit. All right. Just throwing in lots of little leaves. We just kind of want to cover that background with some pale papaya leaves. Beautiful. All right. One more thing to stamp and then we'll be done with all the art inking. I just want to stamp my greeting. I'm going to move my scratch paper all the way. I don't need this anymore. Put it down there. So I have the greeting with a grateful heart. And I'm just going to stamp that just along the bottom. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Hopefully I don't get my head in it. With a grateful heart. Just along this. I just have a scrap piece of paper. I don't even know how wide this is. It's about like two and a half inches. We're going to trim it down with our paper trimmer. So you just need a little scrap. All right, so let's pull out our little paper trimmer, or you can use your scissors. I'm gonna trim that down. Just like that, so. And that's going to go right on our, our little label. Now, I forgot to tell you, this label is from the Seasonal Labels dies. You guys know how much I love these dies. This is from that Christmas season bundle. These dies are incredible. They're worth the bundle alone. Yet all these labels, I've been using these labels a ton almost on every project. I think I've used them for almost every celebration project, Sunday project. So you definitely get a lot of use out of them. All right, let's talk about the rest of our pieces for our card. My card base is a pumpkin pie card base. This is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of pale papaya, which is five and a quarter by four. And then my white piece, I don't know if I mentioned that, that was three and three quarters by five. So that's gonna all just layer right on here. We have our greeting pieces and I have two of these leaves. These, this die cut is also from the seasonal labels dies. And I've die cut these with that bedazzling paper. That's a celebration item as well. We've talked about that one. I think that was like our first celebration Sunday. So we have two of those and then I've die cut some hearts. I've cut two out of pumpkin pie and one out of pale papaya. These are from the Give It A Whirl dies. This is another die set that I find that I'm reaching more and more towards. So I die cut the hearts out of here. And so that's all our pieces. Oh, gold ribbon. This gold ribbon is actually from the, the holiday catalog. It's unavailable. It's, you can't order it right now. It's currently unorderable, but um, I'm gonna show you an alternative to this ribbon in just a minute, but we're gonna make it with this ribbon. Okay, I think we're ready to put all of our pieces together. So let's just start assembling our card here. I'm gonna put our pale papaya piece on here just so we don't lose any pieces. Okay, I'm gonna set my card base aside. In the back of my greeting, I'm gonna put some dimensional. I think I'm just gonna use these little this little strip down here. Just put that along the all along the side there. And this is just gonna go right onto our label. And I'm okay if it hangs off a little bit. I think that actually looks looks really cute with it kind of hanging off. All right, so let's flip this over. We're gonna put some ribbon on it. So I'm gonna just use my stamp and seal, put some ribbon or put some glue on there. And then we're just gonna kind of weave our ribbon back and forth. You know what, this is not going to be long enough. So let's, I'm gonna sh we're gonna do some faux weaving. I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So I'm just gonna cut it and it's gonna fold a little piece in half there. And we're gonna need a piece for the end here. So we're just kind of piecing this together, but this is a great little technique. If you don't have a lot of ribbon, but you still want that, that weave look, this is gonna go on this side, just like that. And then we'll have one more piece for the end over here. So trim that off. So isn't that cute? So my weave is going a different way this time, but it just adds all of that, that gold texture and nobody knows that it's all pieced together in the back. All right, some dimensionals on here. And I especially wanna make sure that we're holding down that ribbon. So 
I'm gonna kind of overlap my dimensionals to hold down all of that ribbon. All right, we're almost done here. Okay, I'm gonna peel off all the adhesive on here. I want my my little leaf pieces to stick to the dimensionals. So I'm gonna stick one up here, just like that. We're gonna just stick it right onto the dimensionals. I think I'm off camera, sorry guys. And this one down here, just like that. We're just gonna make sure that they're kind of adhered to the dimensionals, make sure there's enough dimensionals to stick it onto our card. And we are ready to, we're gonna put our hearts aside. All right, move everything out of the way. Okay, let's bring back in our paper. It might not be completely dry yet, but I think that's okay. We're gonna make it work. This will go right onto our, to our ombre blended background. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just stunning, all of that together. Okay, we're gonna put our large heart on. I wanted to kind of overlap here, so I'm, I'm gonna put a dimensional right onto that label piece right above the greeting, and that's gonna hold that heart in place, just like that. And for the other two hearts, we're just gonna use some liquid glue put one here and I think one up here. So the pale papaya one we'll put right here. And then the little tiny pumpkin pie one we'll put up here. Now we're going to make those stand out a little bit more with our Winga Stella pen. Just going to go over those hearts. Brush, brush those hearts with some Winga Stella and really make them sparkle and shine. I should have waited for this to dry. That's okay. <laughs> And this final one down here, Wink of Stella is one of my absolute favorite, favorite things. I love things that sparkle and Wink of Stella pen makes it so easy. Okay. All right, let's stick this to our card base. We're going to use dimensionals for that. So I'll grab a few of these, I'll flip this over, put a few on the back of this. This has a lot of dimensionals. So this might be one that you either pay that extra postage or you hand deliver this one. It's a gorgeous card. You can do this with so many. Oh man, look at I cut my card stock wrong. Urgh. All right, we're gonna have to trim off a little bit. I'm gonna have to kind of sew this together, piece it together. This was supposed to be five, and it looks like I had this at like five and a quarter. So we're just gonna eyeball it. I think that's good. I think that's probably a quarter of an inch. We're gonna go with it. Pretty close anyway. Okay, perfect. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, one more thing. We have to add one more thing. We have to add even more sparkle with some um, champagne rhinestones. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool, pick them up. I'm just gonna add three of them. A couple, maybe one up here and one right there. Perfect. All right, that is our final card. Isn't it stunning? It's gorgeous. These colors are just so pretty. They're so reminiscent of fall. Um, but think of how gorgeous this would be in any other color, all your favorite colors. This would be great with like a Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana pool party one. I would That would be beautiful. Um, yellows, purples, greens, anything. Now, if you already have, maybe you already have the, the textures and frame stamp set, but maybe you're thinking about the starter kit. Let me show you what would possibly be in your starter kit. I'm going to show you 125 in products. Remember, you're only paying $99 for this. Okay, so you're going to have... Of course, the banner year stamp set, you're gonna need that. You're gonna get a pack, you're gonna to wanna to throw in a pack of the blending brushes. Remember, you're gonna get three in your package. You're gonna need the white ink, the white craft ink, and then you're gonna need three ink pads. These are the ones we used today, Petal Pink, Pale Papaya, and Pumpkin Pie, but if you're making this in a different color, you might wanna choose different inks. Um, of course, a Wink of Stella. I have a brand new one right here, Wink of Stella. Um, the champagne rhinestones, which I need to order more of. This is all I have left. Champagne rhinestones. Um, the gold ribbon. Now remember that gold ribbon that we used that was in the mini catalog. I told you we were um, that one was unavailable right now. But this gold ribbon, this is our gold shimmer ribbon in our annual catalog. So you could easily substitute this ribbon as well. So that gold ribbon, and of course a pack of dimensionals. But we don't want to forget the give it a world dies. This is where all the hearts come from, and there's also stars and stuff in here, so you can even maybe change up the, the hearts to stars, whatever you want to do. Now remember, during celebration, you're going to get to choose a free bundle. So, of course, I'm going to throw in that um, 
Christmas season bundle with these dies. Stamp set is not in reach right now, but you're gonna get that whole bundle. So we get all of this for only $99 in your starter kit, plus a free paper pumpkin, plus free shipping. The starter kit really is the very best deal around. Okay, guys, I think that's it for me. If you have um, a preference on what you wanna see next week for Celebration Sunday, I think we're either gonna do the um, feels like home stamp set or the beautifully penned DSP. So let me know if you guys have a preference in the comments. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for joining me for another Celebration Sunday. These, um, this product, this project will be up on my blog in just a little bit. Just give me maybe about an hour and I'll have it up on my blog with um, all the details and supply lists and everything. Um, all right, guys, thank you again for joining me. If you are on Facebook, please share this video with your friends or anybody you think would find this interesting. If you're on, on YouTube, I'd love it if you like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday in my VIP group. And you guys, I told you on Wednesday that I think I was done crafting for Halloween. Well, I, I lied. We're doing another Halloween project. Um, and if you want a little sneak peek, here it is. Ah, that's all you're going to get, though. It's a super cute... I can't wait to show it to you. It's super cute. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't done crafting for Halloween. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so join me Wednesday in my VIP group. I'm hoping to go live at 10. Um, again, I'll have to let you know with um, everybody's work schedule and everything. But thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.